Okay, so what I did off camera is I made a couple of the shims and I've actually broached the old gear um, and tried the fitment. So three shims of 0.5 millimeters each works absolutely perfect. So we just need to bore this out to 16 uh, millimeters, I believe it was, and then we're good to broach the new back gear. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, well I've finished off uh, boring it out. It was for two. It wasn't very good, so it's. Uh, I decided to stop recording. It was too close to the chuck to actually get the camera in there. So we have bored this out to just over 16 millimeters now. I think it's coming in at about 16.08, so a little bit oversized. Um, not exactly happy with that. Not sure where I went wrong with that, but we've only got one. That's what we've got to live with. So next stage is to put the bush in. And then we'll uh, start cutting the uh, keyway. Just going to get some cutting fluid. So final shim to take us to full depth of two millimeters. Shift shims out and our bush, and there we have our four mil keyway. Let's make sure you can see it. Four mil keyway in our new 45 tooth back gear, 45 tooth back gear. So, one thing to do now is just make sure it fits on the lathe, and then we're good to cut or start to cutting 1.5 mil threads again. So all good. Okay, well as you can see, that's the 45 tooth gear mounted and running. I'll just quickly stop that. As you can see, there is a slight gap here, which means this is slightly thinner in thickness than the originals. I think in the originals they had a little part, a little boss on either side of the face. So what I might do is just make a a spacer to fit behind here between these two for when I actually use it but worst case I can use it and it'll allow me to 
cut 1.5mm threads um, until I decide the best way. I might, I mean, I can get a thicker gear, so I might do that and then actually machine it all again. But um, yeah, for the time being, it works. Well, guys, that's the end of part two of this uh, episode for this um, the, the back gear videos. So there's the old one, and there's our our new one. There's our three makeshift shims, and obviously our our bush. Now, this I've got to take back to the engineering company that kindly lent it to me. Um, the bush I'll be keeping, obviously, because I can use that hopefully in the future. I will, at some point, no doubt, be able to manage to get some of these. They are very expensive, um, but. Uh, who knows what the future will hold so anyway guys um i'm gonna leave it there hopefully you've enjoyed watching the uh the videos and watching me make these and uh, making the bush and um we'll see you on the next one many thanks for watching